So by accident I found out that there is a new game jam coming up. And it's organized by now other men, not Miss. The theme of the jam was common tile set for every participant. This tile set was from Ken. I saw the tile set on Saturday morning and I started to think what to do with it. At the first glance the tile set was perfect for some fantasy or sci-fi dungeon crawler or roguelike. So obviously the next day I started working on Antique Shop Simulator. I have a very bad feeling about this. I never made any shop simulator before, so I started playing with the tile set. It's easier for me to work if I can see what the final product will look like. So I made first draft of the shop design. I came up with what I thought was a funny name for the game. Squeak Greek Antique. It must be clever, because it rhymes. The next day I could not work on the game. I had another urgent project to work on. It's treason, then. So you start with 6 kilos of fresh garden tomatoes. You chop them and slowly boil them for about 5 hours. 4 hours in, let's make some finely chopped onion. Now let's caramelize it on a mix of canola and olive oil. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to exit the donut. Let's roll a short b-roll at least. Trust me, your pasta sauce will thank you. It was the fourth day of the jam and I had basically done nothing so far. I wanted the game to feature somewhat meaningful story and I just finished few documentaries on Netflix about the hard times in New York in the second half of last century. So I wanted to capture that. At the time, New York was dubbed the city of fear. I needed a tragic story. The main protagonist is going to be an immigrant. His father is going to die. No, wait. His father is going to get shot. I mean shot dead. Because of robbery. So now you have to take care of the family business. I didn't want to present just one tough story. So I came up with another three stories inspired by some real ones. Chinese immigrant who lost contact with her family. African American blues man dealing with racism. An offspring of a member of New York Mafia gang. The high-end community is... The high-end community is... Okay, okay, I can hear you complaining. You can learn the rest when you try the game yourself. Next, I started to do some more work on the shop design. I made basic player movement and player animations. I was kinda happy with that, but it was still less than the prototype. The next day I had to make at least some parts of the game loop. And I really wanted to start with item generation, because I always wanted to try that. I like when RPG games have well done randomly generated loot. So I did it. Randomly generated watches are ready. This watch. I continued working on shop features. I created object for showcase, where the items will be presented to and the customers. I added floating rectangles that will later animate the item and manage to detect when a player enters near showcase. I felt good about the progress. When I do feel good about it, it's usually a good idea to write down everything that the game is yet missing. Oh sh that's a lot of stuff. I kinda panicked and started working on the game interaction menu. But actually it was the time where I should have stopped and start thinking how to do this properly. Because later I found out that I made the system limiting and some features would be nightmare to implement now. But I had no idea at the time. I worked two long nights and I needed my brain to chill a bit. But on Friday I was back and fully focused on the task. I made a lot of progress in one day. I finished the interaction system, made randomly generated female and male customers. By the way, females always have matching colors of shoes with their shirt or skirt. Males, not so much. You actually go outside in these things? What would you prefer? Yellow spandex? I wanted to make randomly generated names of customers but here and there generate some pop culture cameos with matching outfits and stuff like, you know, Lea Organa or Peter Parker, Tony Stark and Jean-Luc Picard. 
But fortunately, I didn't let the feature creep to take my time. Oh, okay. It was one of the hottest days of this year, so it was important to stay hydrated. It was 8th day of the jam, and I was sure I won't hit 48 hours limit at all. Maybe 42 hours, if I get lucky. I created systems of leveling, money exchange, bargain with customers. I also created an intro and outro screen, and my composer Jan gave me awesome music tracks for the game. It was busy day, but I was far from done. On the last day, I still needed to create system for ordering products from the suppliers. And I ran into the limitations of my interaction system. I was really pissed. What I created earlier was not working well enough. But should I rework it now with only a few hours left? Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! I made some workarounds, but it meant you have to re-enter some areas to interact with it. So please, my fellow players, be forgiving. I've created a model of old radio to control the music right from the game. I liked that idea, because it felt more immersive than game menu. And I was almost done. I still needed to create more items. I had a list of 26 items that could be sold. And I have finished one so far. And to create one item class was about one hour of work. So let's do this. Completely exhausted, I put together a menu and a each page full of typos and mistakes and I uploaded not working zip of the game and went to sleep. Yeah, the executable file exported from Godot needed some import files to run properly, so I had to re-upload the files on Monday. Sorry for that as well. This game jam was fun. As the theme was the tile set, it was very different from any other game jam I have participated. I am not 100% satisfied with the game. It needs more polishing and it's missing some key features like load and save, better character menu and definitely would benefit from more item types. And get rid of limitations of the interaction system. But I had fun and it was blast learning new stuff. I liked it. I was good at it. I want to thank everyone from Game Dev community for a great game jam. Now, thanks for watching. If you want to check my other games, links will be in the description.